Hey guys, in a pretty interesting explanation, the dual lands are on the move. People have been noticing that they have been selling for some time. And this is just one individual, but across the board, the buy list is back for the dual lands on Star City Games. We've been using the buy list on Card Kingdom because at one point in time, Star City Games didn't actually offer money. I think they were only offering store credit. I don't know when that stopped, but they're now offering money. And for a near mint underground C, they're offering six hundred dollars uh, for revised. So we're going to talk about revised, uh, played five hundred dollars, heavy play four hundred dollars, and then credit. Basically, they're essentially matching Card Kingdom. Now, the interesting part about having two two buy lists is you will see a difference. In some of the lands, for instance, Volcanic Island is 550 on Star City Games, and it's under 500 on Card Kingdom. So you could actually have, and this is exactly the scenario that's playing it out, two different people bidding on ten different land and having different assessments at any given time about which land is worth how much. So even though both people agree that the Underground Sea is worth 600. Here we have Star City Games thinking Volcanic Island is 550, while Card Kingdom thinks Volcanic Island is 480. So that is a $70 gap. So this is what you want to see. This is what you absolutely want to see. You want to see that there are multiple buy lists going at it. You want to see that people are ready to bid. People are, and 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 so I'm trying to figure out like what exactly is happening. Why is there so much? activity around these dual lands when the past two to three years there's been very little activity it's very, been very stagnant and i came across this um edh so competitive edh um is it's it's kind of really interesting right? i i think of edh as casual but there is a player group out there and we know wizard of the coast specifically pushes competitive edh right uh, they have Commander Festival, and so like you know, how are you gonna get the reward? You, you gotta like somebody gotta win, right? <laughs> like you know, so it's not just all casual. If the rewards and payout is good enough, people will. And even if you didn't have rewards and payouts, there would probably still be people who wanted to cap. So this is what's happening: is EDH is becoming the most popular format by far. I don't think there's any argument. Draft standard, they all suck. Modern sucks. Pioneers, not even non-existent, right? Historical, I don't even know what that is. But EDH is the all, it, it's everything in Magic the Gathering. They have pushed it with Universe Beyond. They continue to push it. Um, I mean, it is literally everything in Magic. So what cards do you think people need in EDH? Well, they need the dual lands. Uh, you, you start with the dual lands. Everything else is kind of air you know, replaceable in some capacity. And the dual lands are replaceable, but, you know, it's different when you fetch a dual land on your first turn than when you wait for it to untap a lot of these fetching lands. Like in Mirage, they, they're still worth a dollar or two. So I do think um, that this competitive, so that's what they're talking about, competitive EDH is here to stay. And if you want to be fully competitive and you know, have the best deck, which even casual players want the best deck, you need the duels. There's no doubt in my mind that this is not Legacy. Legacy, in my opinion, is dead. I don't know when the last major Legacy tournament was, but Wizards of the Coast is not recognizing Legacy anymore or supporting it because there's no reason to, right? It's okay. So here are Star City Games, which I haven't shown you in forever because I just didn't know. I mean, this must have been new. Um, I definitely would have heard about this, right? But this is pretty interesting. Star City Games posted buy, li buy list yesterday for revised duels. Buying near mint volcanic for five fifty. At least, the very least, Star City Games is expecting upwards movement. And, and this is what um, uh, this is what I'm talking about. Because at the end of the day, like who knows most about what these cards are worth? It's got to be Star City Games, right? Our, our card kingdom. They're major movers. They see their analytics. They have a dashboard of what is selling, what is not selling, right? Um, 
th this if Star City Games suddenly wants dual lands again, when for the past three four years they have not, or they have got rid of their buy list and they've only done store credit, that is very interesting. And the other revised duels have also been going up in the last month or so. Multiple people said they bought duels on other MTG subs. Also, Magic might be on a rebound from a past years, few years of overprinting. So people feel like it's a good time for reserve list. Post proof because I don't see any and they post proof. Here's one. You can also check the TCG sales chart. Could be related to recent rumors of Wizards sanctioned commander tournaments. Where's this rumor for, from? It's from Twitter, of course. The news is huge, isn't it? Wizard of the Coast endorsing com competitive EDH should boost competitive EDH staples by a lot. I'm also curious how a four-player multiplayer game can generally be considered competitive, since players in a pod could also collaborate. Uh, one versus one competitive EDH would work, aka dual commander. Uh, and then da 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 da, uh, CEDH does already exist. Tournaments are played. People can cooperate in the pod, and they do. You have to be the best in cooperating, sharing some infos while keeping others for yourself. Lines permitted, even if frowned upon. So basically, it's just poker, guys. <laughs> like people are like, oh, how could this ever happen? Well, I mean, if only there was another card game where lying, deceptive, potentially, you know, working together, like in poker. When you play, you can play with your mom or dad. You can play with your girlfriend. You can play. You can sit at a table of how many other people. It doesn't matter. You know, I've sat at a table um, with my girlfriend before playing poker. I sat at a table with my mom and dad playing poker before. Um, it doesn't matter. Uh, or I've sat at a table with my sister playing poker. If only there was a game, right, where it would something like that. Now, can't again, you can't share information, right? But that's the same with EDH, right? There's some guidelines that you have to follow. Anyway, uh, very fascinating stuff. Um, I, I do think the dual lands are... I, don't, I, I have enough of them. I don't think I'm going to buy no more because I already have 400, 600, 800. <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm definitely going to keep a playset for myself, right? Uh, and then some extra. But anyway, the dual lands are going to the moon, guys. It's Star City Games. They know what they're doing. They're not idiots, right? <laughs> 